Welcome once more to this YouTube channel, Best Science Brain YouTube channel, the channel meant for tutorial on chemistry, physics, and further mathematics. So if you are coming across the channel for the very first time, go to the channel's name, Best Science Brain, it's under my profile picture, you see uh, the Best Science Brain, the name of the channel, and then you see a subscription button or a bell, then tap on it once and get subscribed. So you can be seeing our videos from time to time. We appreciate those who are subscribed and those who comment on the channel. As we go on, if you have quick topics that you want us to treat on the channel, you can import the topic to us. We're going to see it and still oblige you to treat such topics. If you have questions also, you can send the questions as an inbox message for us to solve these problems and then for everybody's uh, knowledge and goodwill. So today we're going to look at, uh, we are still on equilibrium of forces but we have done the video on equilibrium of forces and we have done the video on resultant of vectors, the principle of triangle of forces, the Lambert theorem, we have done it. Today we are not teaching this topic but today we are solving problems on past examination bodies and today we're looking at problems from uh, unified special matriculation examination that is entrance examination to universities in Nigeria here we're going to look at problems and then we're going to solve it this is meant for those who are in high who want to enter high institution or those who want to take senior school certificate examination whether it's O level or A level and also for those who are offering further mathematics in their school curriculum. So we're going to look at these problems on the board and then many more as we solve and then take solutions to the problems and then learn more because education is power. And we know that you don't, knowledge is infectious. So knowledge is not something, you, just, you don't read. And then when you read, you know, only, you know enough to read. When you read, you supplement it by solving past questions. So let's go to the first problem on the board. Here yeah, we have three forces at equilibrium F1, which is 10 Newton force, F2, 5 Newton force, F3, our known force. The angle between F1 and F2 is 60. And we have to find F3. The question here is to find F3. And this is university examination, trans examination 1986. So let's look at this problem. How do we solve this problem? So this is a situation of three forces at the F1 and F2 and F3. And for my early video or earlier video, I said that when three forces are at equilibrium, each force is an equilibrium of the other two. So F3 is an equilibrium of F1 and F2. So we're looking for the equilibrium force. And I also say that the equilibrium force is same as the resultant. Now, since the angle between the two of them is not 90 degrees, the angle between F1 and F2 is not 90, we're going to apply the parallelogram law of vectors to find resultant. So, we we'll draw, can you use this side of the board? We we'll draw a parallelogram. Here, then take this place at F1, which is 10 Newton, 10 Newton also here. Take this side as F2, which is a 5 Newton. You can look at it here, F2 and F1. The angle between F2, F1 and F2 is 6 degrees, which is the angle here, is 60 degrees. So we'll draw our resultant line. So here is 60 degrees. So resultant is what we're looking for. That resultant is equivalent to F3, the equilibrium force. So we apply the program law, R square or F R we want to F1 square plus F2 square plus 2 times F1 times F2 cos theta. Theta is the angle between the two, but that is 60 degrees. So R square now becomes our F1 taking as 10. 10 squared plus F2, taking it as 5. 5 squared plus 2 times 10 times 5, cos 60. 
So R square becomes 10 squared is 100, 5 squared is 25. That 10, 100 plus 5 gives you 125 plus 2 times 10 is 20 and 20 times 5 is 100. And then cos 60 is 0 0.5. So 2 times 10 times 5 times 0 0.5, which is cos 60. So that is 20, 100, cos 60, that is 50. That is 0 0.5 times 50. That is going to give us 175. We add these two together. The result and that becomes the square root of 175. The root of 175 is nothing but 13.2 Newton as our answer. So go through our work again and see how it was simplified. Okay, we'll now go to the solution part of the equation. We say the correct answer to this one is option C, 13.2 Newton. And that is the answer to that question number one, question here, uh, uh, which we got from UTMB 1986. We'll go to number two question now. In number two, we see that we have uh, three forces, non parallel forces, meeting at the point. And they have a mass, they have a mass of 10 gram, 10 kilogram. They will have the supporting cord. D2 up to a ceiling, so, and they will have under, under call pulling a D1, keeping, keeping the three, the two other forces at the equilibrium. And then, as I said in the previous video, we have a situation of a, a non parallel forces, three non parallel forces. To solve this problem, all you have to do is to draw a right angle triangle. Draw a right angle triangle. Here is angle 90. So let's go back to the equation again, to the diagram again. This side, the supporting cord is T2. So let's go to the diagram. The supporting cord is, is the tension here is T2. Let's go once again to the diagram. The horizontal cord, the tension here is T1. Here, take the base as T1. We go back to the, to the diagram. The marks. Here, hanging down, freely down, vertically downwards is 10 kg. So, go to the diagram. We're now going to take this particle side of the triangle as our mass, 10 kg. But before they have to convert the mass to Newton using mg, it's going to be 10 times 10. Since g is 10, gravity, attention to gravity is 10. Probably 10, that gives us 100 Newton. So, this place will be 100 Newton after the conversion. We move again. Look at the triangle here. There's an angle 30 degrees. This angle is lying uh, over here. So we present it in the diagram. We put the angle here. The angle here is 30 degrees. So see where it is in the diagram. And see where we put it. 30 here and 30 here. So in the triangle, the angle will now come into this place because by virtue of alternate angle. And this question says we should find D1. Find T1. Well, look at T1. This side is the opposite. Opposite to the angle 30. Why the non side, the weight, is the adjacent. Opposite and adjacent. Remember our trig ratio. Opposite and adjacent is taken care of by tan. So we we'll now use T1 opposite over 100, which is the adjacent equal to tan 30. So find tan 30 and then solve the problem. Tan 30 is equivalent to 0 0.5774. When we look at the answer, we look at our answers. The answers are given in sort form. In sort form. So we should know that tan 30 in such form is 1 over root 3, right tan 30. So when we apply, D1 becomes 100 times tan 30. And since tan 30 1 over root 3, we now have 100 times 1 over root 3. That gives us 100 over root 3 Newton.
as our answer to the problem. So the answer is B. So the question is option B. 100 over root 3 for Newton. That's the answer. You can take a look at our work again for go to number 3. Number three problem we have uh, also this number three is more like this one we saw the one we saw uh, just few minutes ago. We still have a situation of uh, uh, non parallel forces, their lines of actions are meeting at a point, so at the center there. So we have a weight of six newton acting vertical downwards, we have the supporting cord to the ceiling 12 newton. An angle here, theta made here, and they will have a horizontal cord pulling this body and keeping these two forces at equilibrium. C through 3 Newton. And we are asked to find theta, the angle suspended here, apart at the particle. We are asked to find theta, and this is UTMP exam 1997. So, to solve this problem, we will make use of the other part of the board. So first of all, as we have, as I said before, we resolve this using a right angle triangle. Then we go to the, the, the triangle and take the side one by one. So when you call the, the tension is 12 newton, so here should be 12 newton. Horizontal cord tension is 6 through 3. Here should be 6 through 3 newton. And here is 90. The weight acting vertically downwards. So this vertical side. The add down of vertical is 60 to represent the weight. And the angle here is theta, unknown angle is theta. So, first of all, let's understand the triangle. In a right angle triangle, this side is the opposite. The side facing the angle theta. This side is the, is the adjacent. While the longest side is the hypotenuse. So, to find this theta, I can join, I can use any two sides, since the three sides are known. Can use any thread, any two sides of the triangle. Okay, let's assume I want to use the adjacent and the hypotenuse. I will apply the trig ratio uh, cosine cos meant for adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse. So I will now say cos theta, that the unknown angle, equals adjacent, which is 6, over hypotenuse, which is 12. 6 over 12 is 0 0.5 half. That means theta now becomes cos inverse of 0 0.5. We find the cos inverse of 0 0.5 and that will give us 60 degrees. So the angle theta is 60 degrees. So we look at our solution and then let's go to the options there. The correct, uh, correct option or answer to that problem is option D, 60 degrees. Option D is the answer to that question. 1997 UTME examination. We now go to the fourth problem on the board. So we'll go to number this one, number four. The force here is 10 Newton. Here is 17 Newton. Here is F, unknown value F. And we are asked to find F. So you look at this problem now. This is the problem of Lamy's theorem. Let me draw a diagram here once more. We have this, this, F, 17 Newton, 10 Newton, and then 150 there. And the angle here, made here, and we have to find the value of F. So this is UTMP examination 2005. The jump examination 2005, or so call it unified facial manipulation examination. So meant for people who want to go to university or colleges of education or polytechnic or high institution. So look at this problem. How do we solve it? It's not a difficult task. You see that we have more than one. This is an angle here. How about that angle? There are two angles. We can still find the angle here to which the angle at the point, the sum of this angle will be 360 degrees. So now, when you have more than one angle, you remember the Lamy's theorem. 
the Lamy's theory, which we treated the Lamy's theory, which we treated in our previous video. Lamy's theory, which says that um, when three forces are at, at equilibrium, then the, the, each force is proportional to the sine of the angle opposite it. So it's more like the sine rule. So now I say 10 over sine angle opposite that is 10 over sine 150 equal to f, which is unknown, over the sine of angle opposite it. This, this is the pi which sine? This is the pi angle 90 degrees. This sign. So this is f over sine 90 degrees. So we don't need to use 17. If you want to use 17, that means how to find the angle that is here. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. So these two are okay. We make f the subject. f becomes 10 sine 90 over sine 150. So sine 90 is 1. So 10 times 1 is 1. Sine 150 is sine 30, which is 0 0.5. So f becomes 10 over 0 0.5. That gives us 20 Newton. The unknown force is 20 Newton. So let's go to the solution here on number 4. The answer to it is D, 20 Newton. So, we are going to go to more problems from past examination problems. That says a handbag containing some load weighing 162 Newton is carried by two students, each holding the bag, holding the handle of the bag next to her. If each handle is pulled 60 degrees to the vertical, find the force on each student's arm. Here we go again. A handbag containing some load weighing 162 Newton is carried by two students, each holding the handle of the bag next to her. If each handle is put, since you get the vertical, find the force on each student's arm. So this is UTM exam 2000. To solve this problem here, we're going to draw the vector diagram. So let this represent the handle on the bags pulled by the students, the two students, and then they represent the bar. The load on the bar is 162 Newton, and the rate of tension, we say that if each handle is pulled 60 degrees to the particle, so the angle here should be 60 degrees to the particle, the angle media should also be 60 degrees. The tension on the handle should be T, and T also, because the angles are equal, so they have equal tension on both arms. So we'll now complete the diagram into a triangle. So here, we're going to apply the principle of triangle of forces, which I explained in an earlier video on this, on this channel. So if you are not watching, try to find that video on the equilibrium and triangle of forces. So, we'll now draw a force, a reaction force, a force equivalent to this, as we said in Newton's law, for every action that will be an equal or opposite reaction. So this line will draw straight, we write up, up, uh, opposite is the same one is to Newton. The reaction force and the action force are equal. Now the angle here is 60, the angle here is going to be 60. We'll find the angle between the load and each of the handle. So the angle here is Angle here is 60, here is by virtue of alternate angle. Angle here is 60, angle here is also 60 by virtue of alternate angle. Now to solve this problem, we need to draw a triangle using the principle of triangle of forces. Now, we use the base on the triangle as the load, which is 162, or this is 162 here. Now the, load, the base of the triangle becomes the load. Then T here and T there. The angle between the load, the load of the bandle load, and each of the cord or each of the handle of the bags is 60. From here to here is 60, and from here to there is 60. So the angle between the load and each 
hand is 60 here, you put 60 here, you also put 60 there. So, you find the remaining angle of the triangle. 60 plus 60 is 120. You subtract from 120 from 60, you have also 60, you have an equilateral triangle. Having solved that, done that, you now apply Lamy's theory or sine rule. 162 over sine 60 equal to t over sine 60. That is, each of the forces over the sine of an angle opposite it. is over sine 60, t over sine 60 equal to the other t over sine 60. So you can solve it using by equating this to this or by equating this to that because the tensions are equal they have the same angle. So let's cross multiply. We now have um, or even with that you can cancel out sine 60. Okay? So d sine 60 equal to 162 sine 60. So making t the subject, t becomes 162 sine 60 all over sine 60, making t the subject. Sine 60 cancels sine 60. So the tension on each hand is, is 162 Newton. So, and the tensions are equal because they are pulling the mass at the same angle to the particle. So our T is 162 Newton. So if you go to the equation, the right answer is option B to that question from UTMP 2000, 162 Newton. So you can look at the working, evaluate it, and then understand the principle involved. So we'll go back to equation number six. Now this is number six. This we have a, a triangular system of forces. We have two curves called or two strings. Tension on each other is T and D. Then we have a, a supporting the two curves on the value of D. So we say the value of D in the figure above will be the value of D. The tension. And they are equal to each other because the angles here are equal to each other. So this is UTMP 1995 question. So how do we solve this problem? We have earlier on treated a problem like this in our video, on our video on equilibrant and uh, the triangle of forces, Lamy's theorem. So if you have not watched the video, check the channel and look at the video. So if you look at that problem, what do we do? We're going to rescale the diagram in a simplified manner. So that is it. This is the load, and that load equivalent to 20 newton. So what I've done here is I have tried to invert the the, the, the triangle, invert the other way around. So we'll cover here, the angle made here, and the angle made here. The angle made at this point is 30. At this point is 30. As you can see, it on the Diagram 30, 30, inverted, so you can see it this way. So the tension on the string is here, the tension is also there. So this situation also warrants the principle of triangle of forces or Lamy's theorem. We look for, we create a reaction force, a reaction force which is equivalent to the weight, also 20 Newton. We draw a horizontal line there. Then we're going to find the angle between the weight the weight and each of these, each of these chord, the angle here and the angle there. We find the angle that is here. The angle that, is, that we have here is 30 degrees by virtue of alternate angles. If here is 30, here should be 60. How do we get this 60? 90 minus 30 give you 60. Here is 30, here is also 30 by virtue of alternate angle. Here is going to be 60 degrees. 90 minus 30, that is 60 degrees. Having resolved that, we now draw a triangle. We want to draw a triangle. Then we take the base, base of the triangle as our weight, 20 newton. This is the tension, also tension there. Yeah. Now the angle between the weight and each of the rows or each of the chords is 60 degrees. So 60 here, 60 there. We now keep the angle here, 60, another one, 60. Then the angle here will find it. 
sum of the angle of triangle is 180. So now I have 180 minus 120 giving us 60 degrees. Having done that, we now find our tension. Find our tension, we now have applied the sine rule or the Lamis theorem. Each force all over the sine of angle opposite it. So 20 over sine 60, T over sine 60, and also add T again over sine 60. So you take any of since these two are equal, you equate any of these to this. So you see that sine 60 cancel out sine 60 without wasting your time to comply. So since they are equal, you can cancel the new So that means T becomes the same 20 newton. So the value of the tension is the same 20 newton. Going to number C, the answer to the question is option C, 20 newton. That is the answer. You can review our work and see how clear it is. So, having done that, we go to the next question. The next question should be number 7 here. Number 7. We are seeing a, a system of non-parallel forces. Non-parallel forces. Meeting at the point. Non-parallel coplanar or concurrent forces. Concurrent forces. We have 5 k kilogram force on the supporting core to a horizontal plane like the ceiling. We have a 3 kilogram force which is pulling or which is keeping the 5 kilogram force and the weight in equilibrium or at equilibrium rather. So we are asked to find W, that is the weight, and X. So W represents the weight, Y represents an angle inclined to the particle. And this is UTME 1982 equation. And what we have is a situation of uh, non parallel forces. I said the best way to solve this is to draw a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle. You draw that. When you do that, you call here S. That's the, the angle, or non angle is S. Then the spotting chord is 5 kilogram force, as you can see there. The horizontal force is 3. So what we call this five the horizontal force is 3 kilogram force, which is 3 kgf. Why the weight acting vertically downwards is W. So how do we solve this problem? We can, since we have two sides of a right angle triangle, we can apply Pythagoras theorem. This is the opposite, the side facing this angle. This is the hypotenuse, the longest side. The main side is the adjacent. So having two sides, we apply Pythagoras to the theorem. We say that a hypotenuse squared is given as opposite squared plus adjacent or squared. Everything is 5. We now say 5 squared. Opposite is 3. 3 squared. Adjacent is the weight that W squared. So solving this, we now have 25 equal to 9 plus W squared. So W squared becomes 25 minus 9, which is 16. So W now becomes 16. Square root of uh, 16, that will give us 4 kilogram force. So our weight is 4 kilogram force. So there are two answers in each option. We are also asked to find the angle S. To find the angle S, I can use the opposite and the hypotenuse to find the angle S. Using the tip ratio. Opposite over hypotenuse is sine. So I say sine S equal to opposite, which is 3, over hypotenuse, which is 5. That gives me 0 0.6. So X becomes equal to sine inverse of 0 0.6. When we find the sine inverse of 0 0.6, that gives us around 36.9 degrees. So going to the options, we see that the correct answer is option B. The force is for that is the weight is four kilogram force and the angle S is at six point nine degrees. 
for 1982 program. We now look at the solution before we go to the last question of today. The last question of today is number eight, which we have done there. Number eight, which we have done there. Okay, we have number eight question here. We say is we have a, a, a body P acted upon by four forces F1. We have two reservoirs, is eight newton and ten newton acting on this body P. We also find the weight of the body. P. So to solve this problem, how do we go about it? We're going to resolve horizontal forces. These two forces are acting opposite to each other. So if you go and watch our video on resultant of vectors, when two forces are acting in no opposite direction, the resultant is this quantity two forces that will have 10 minus 2 minus 2 newton. So the next horizontal force is here. So, we're going to draw a right angle triangle. The resultant force now is 2, replacing 10 and 8 newton. Then, we have a particular force, F1, in this direction. We give the given angle. The angle inclined here is 30 degrees. The angle inclined particle is 30 degrees. Look at the diagram again. Then, we are asked to find the weight of the object P. The weight is this particle distance W. That is how that represent the weight as we have a, 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 a non-parallel system of forces. So we're looking for the weight. If here is 30 degree, the angle that should be here should be cut by virtue of alternate angles. So now look for the weight. So here is my angle 90. This side is the hypotenuse, the longest side of the triangle. Why this side? To this angle, this side is the adjacent. Why this side is the opposite to the angle third. So to solve this problem now, I'm going to combine the opposite and the unknown value. We're not looking for F1, we're asking to go for the weight, W. Opposite and the weight. So opposite and adjacent to give us tan. So, Katoa for the trig ratio tan. So now I have tan 30 is equal to opposite that is 2 over W. So W becomes 2 over tan 30. So how to find tan 30 to continue? Tan 30 is 0 0.5774. But well, the answers are given in root form. So we're going to insert form. So now I have W equal to 2 tan 30 in sub form is 1 over root 3. So, so 2 divided by 1 over root 3. That gives us 2 times root 3 over 1, giving us 2 root 3 newton as our answer, as the answer to the question. 2 root 3 newton, that is 1990 jam. So you look at number 8, the answer to the question is D, option D, 2 root 3 newton. So with that, we have done justice to many questions from University uh, Unified Tertiary Migration Examination, UTME. Always stay connected to the channel as we bring more wonderful topics to you as they come your way in both chemistry, physics, and further ones. Learn and teach somebody. Share our videos on class WhatsApp groups. Facebook, your friends, invite them to subscribe and learn every day. Thank you.